Welcome everyone. I'm Sergio Santa Maria. I'm going to present about the contribution of Hula 2017 to the shared tax Cantonist. The first shared tax especially focused on name entity recognition of tumor morphology. The topics of this presentation are the next. In first place, I present the different members who integrate our team. Below, we describe the different methods and the system used in the work and the result obtained during the competition. Finally, we discuss the conclusion reached and future work. The Hula 2017 is formed by Paloma Martinez, who researches in the Hula group and is a faculty member of Computer Science Department at University Carlos III of Madrid. And me, Sergio Santa Maria, who am finishing my master's degree in Computer Science and Technology at the same university. Well, our contribution to Cantemis NER can be summarized in three steps. First one, pre-process, in which clinical cases are split into sentence and tokens using SPACI. SPACI is an open source library that provides support for tests in several languages, including Spanish, unlike the widely used size SPACI. We also remove the stop words and transform the annotations into BioAce schema. In table one, we can see the statistics of the generated vocabulary, which has around 22,000 words and 120 different characters, both in the training and development set, and more than 31,000 words and 130 different characters in total. The second step is to prepare the next feature input, words. A 300-dimensional representation based on pre-trained word embeddings generated from Spanish medical corpora are used with fast test. Part of the speech. Using the post-taking model provided by Spacey, an embedding representation of this feature is learned during training resulting in a four-dimensional vector that provides significant information on both the world and its neighbors. Characters. We also add a character level embeddings of the words, learned during training and resulting in a three-dimensional vector. These have, uh, these have proven to be useful for specific domain tags as uh, morphologically rich languages like Spanish. Syllables. Syllable level embeddings of the words learned during training and resulting in a 75-dimensional vector is also added. Like character level embeddings, they help to deal with words outside of the vocabulary and contribute to capturing common prefixes and suffixes in the domain and correctly classifying words. Meaning Cloud Name Entities. Meaning Cloud is a software as a service that allows users to uh, analyze tests. Its API topic extraction allows extracting, uh, extracting the entities present in a test, such as tracks or places. In addition, using a customized dictionary rule from the different terms present in the National Cancer Institute dictionary, we also identify cancer treatments, types of cancer, or medical tests. This information is coded as a 15 dimensional one hot vector. Okay. The architecture developed is shown in figure one. It works at two levels of maximum second length, 50 and 10, which try to capture the global and local context respectively. First, a bidirectional long short 10 memory layer receives the input features. The sequence of character and syllables being previously processed by a convolutional and global max pooling block for a maximum second length of 10. The reshaped output of this layer is concatenated with the input features, but this time for a maximum second length size of 50, and serves as the input for a new bidirectional LSTM. This layer connects directly to a fully connected dense layer with a hyperbolic channel activation function. At the top of the model, a conditional random field layer generates the output. The hyperparameter configuration used is the shown in the slide. And we use a uh, dropout as regularizer and the optimizer used is Adam. We train our model for five epochs and the framework used uh, to develop the system is TensorFlow and Keras in Python 3. During the hyperparameter tuning, we try different model configurations in order to obtain the most optimal one. The different experiment can do it as well as the optimal option can be seen in table two. With this configuration, the results obtained by our system are those shown in table three, where we get a 0.834 F1 score. If we analyze the different errors made by our system, we can identify three types. Incorrect boundaries. 
this type of error is usually caused by including more information, especially related to the, light, uh, to the location of the tumor than is necessary. But it's also caused by not including important information such as its, the states of the tumor. Missing the tumor morphology mentioned. This error happens when the system does not recognize a morphology mentioned in the clinical test. This type of error is often caused when the model confuses terminology that in other documents uh, refers to another medical condition, but in the current document refers to tumor morphology. And incorrectly distinguishing the tumor morphology mentioned, that is the opposite case. In table four, we detail the proportion of error made by our system in the predictions of the test sets in the Cantemis snare task. As a conclusion of the work done, despite the fact that our system is based on a relatively straightforward architecture, the results obtained are competent. The vast majority of mistakes made by, by our system are made with it confused terminology due to the context, so we infer the document level information may be helpful for our system. For this reason, in future work, our goal is uh, to explore different ways to add this as well as examine other deep learning architectures and other types of embeddings as contextual embeddings and knowledge-based resources. Finally, uh, I would like to thank everyone to, for watching this video. Um, below, uh, you will find the bibliography of this work. Thanks, everybody.